So coming into the newly created mobile team, my initial reaction at the time was, okay, so I'm an Android developer, which can be very complex. And our system is all about simplicity. So what exactly is the idea here? And how do I fit in and why do I fit in? So the goal was to bring that simplicity to mobile development. And for that, the team built something called Maps, which is basically this huge compiler that transforms and packages our systems applications in order to run on mobile devices for a number of Android and iOS versions. And Maps has been the source of quite a few challenges for the team. And one such challenge is just the sheer scale of the service and ensuring you can serve thousands and thousands of requests, which can be very different and can be very specific. And for that, the team relied on technologies such as AWS and containers to isolate and ensure the requirements for that specific request are always satisfied. Another challenge we had was introducing multiple versions of maps and allowing customers to choose which version they want to use. Because a great number of our customers are actually from the financial and banking sector where things don't usually move as fast. So they wanted to stay on a given version for a bit longer and move at their own pace. On the other hand, we had customers who always wanted to be on the latest and greatest. And even ourselves, the developer, we want to keep on improving maps and providing new features. So we had to come up with a solution that could appease both camps. And that really made us rethink our development and release process. That still goes on today. We have to be always on the lookout for new Android versions, new iOS versions, new devices, foldables, wearables, and even requirements from the App Store and Google Play. Playing this role of enabler, where your customers are essentially other developers and their options are the ones you give them to face their own challenges, you really have to be careful about the changes you make to a product like Maps. That requires a fundamental understanding of the underlying systems. And in my case, was a much deeper Android knowledge than I had previously before as a pure Android developer. Which is curious because by moving away from Android, I actually learned a lot more about Android.